you. This is Bo the Web Guy, Shag City TV, presented by Fat Harold's Beach Club. I can't believe this is episode number four. Uh, four weeks, uh, been working on the Shag City TV. Um, got a, still got a little bumps along the road, but we're uh, <laughs> but we're coming along. Um, starting to you know square this thing a little little bit. Uh, we've got some great interviews this week. We've got our, our normal weekly segments, Lunch with Lulu, our weekly trip to 94.9. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. I'm just trying to live it down. Ocean Drive Bang. Beach and Golf Resort is the perfect host for your next beach getaway. Located directly on the oceanfront in the heart of North Myrtle Beach, our oceanfront rooms and suites come fully equipped and feature private balconies with breathtaking ocean views. Ocean Drive Beach and Golf Resort features unparalleled on-site amenities, including the OD Beach Club and world-famous Spanish Galleon Nightclub. Call Ocean Drive Beach and Golf Resort now at 1-800-438-9590. We'll see you in North Myrtle Beach. Just like I please. Early in the morning, I get down upon Hey, this is Bo the Web Guy with Shag City TV, presented by Fat Harold's Beach Club. In our weekly visit to 949 The Surf, down just down the road from Fat Harold's, Jason Justice. Uh, what's happening in beach music world here in North Myrtle Beach? Well, you know, there's always plenty going on with, with Fat Harold's and beach music world and everything else, but, you know, we had a great night Sunday or Saturday night with Sea Cruise. And they put on a great show like they always do, and we've got even more coming up this next week. Lulu's got lunch every day. We've never said that. We, we've got lunches, or Lulu's got lunch Wednesday. I mean, yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday to Saturday. Wednesday to Saturday, yeah. And it's, I mean, it's really, really good food. They, she's got a lunch special going on all the time, and it's always something different, like uh, fried pork chops. What do you eat? I eat the, well, I've, there's this wrap that she makes for me. It's a Philly cheesesteak wrap, and it's, oh, oh, it's so good. Good stuff. Yeah, it's peppers, onions, you know, cheesesteak, oh, everything's just, it's so good. Yeah. Exactly. Got a few good J DJs that work at Fat Harold's. Like this, maybe like one, this, this one of the guys, Jimmy. Here. What's going on, brother? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Good to see y'all guys. How's everything going? Doing good. Did you get a chance to see Shag City TV this week? Oh yeah, looking good. I tell you what, y'all boys going to be first rate, first class. Y'all going to put all these other people out of business. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, you won't put no radio station out of business. <laughs> hey. Tell, J tell Jason to strap it on tight because you try it. Man, we're having fun. <laughs> yeah. Down here at 94.9, DJs and Fat Heralds. We'll be right I back. Tell the truth in my hand, just like a little shiny jewel. Hey, we're here at Wags and Whiskers in North Myrtle Beach. This is my dog, Leo. When Leo eats food, he always eats natural choice here from Wags and Whiskers. We buy it local in North Myrtle Beach. Come out to Wags and Whiskers in North Myrtle Beach for all your pet supplies, pet food, and pet toys. Wags and Whiskers covers blue carries Blue Buffalo, Natural Balance, Holistic Select, Yukonuba, Origin, Wellness, Science Diet, Neutro, Weruva, Fussy Cat, Innova, Evo, California Natural, Healthwise, American Royal Cannon, Evangers, Sojos, Applause, and Iams. They also have Smokehouse, Red Barn, Merrick, Happy Howie, From, Grandma Lucy's, Nyla Bone, Cloud Star, Buddy Biscuits, and Greenies Treats. In the food lines, they carry Rowdy Bush, KT, Volkman, Higgins, Sunseed, Supreme, Browns, and Laferbers. Looking for the toys? They carry Kong, Buddha, Multipet, JW, Our Pet, Ethical, and Premier Toys. You can find it all at Wags and Whiskers in North Myrtle Beach. Hey, this is Bo the Web Guy with Shag City TV, presented by Fat Harold Beach Club. Caught up with uh, Gary Bass down here at uh, 94.9 Studios. Just, you know, getting ready to go in and talk to Jason and, and uh, Jimmy Buffkin, and here comes the man. He said, be careful who you talk about. <laughs> <laughs> right, man. Yeah. How you doing? Good? I'm good. Yeah. Uh, we've been pretty excited with the Shag City TV. Um, you know, coming out there, there's a lot of people actually going on the web and looking at it. We're driving traffic there from Facebook and uh, emails and the Fat Herald's emails and, you know, like getting a lot of good, ex you know, good feedback from it. People kind of like it. I'm kind of amateur at this, but uh, 
we, we had an idea and ran it by Shannon. She said, go for it. It sounds like a great idea. So, um, Gary, you've been at a club for a couple of years. Uh, let's see. Uh, since 1985, I've been with Harold. I was with him on the ocean front. Fat Harold's at the our present location at 212 Main Street. So it's been a few years. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, been a few late nights? A few late nights, a lot of early mornings. <laughs> But uh, I've had, it's been a joy to, uh, to work with Harold. Uh, I've met a lot of good people in the entertainment business, and uh, he's uh, made it possible for me uh, to have my dreams come true, to uh, play beach music. So, you know, that's, uh, that's what it was all about. I wanted to be a professional. I played in bands from 1963 to 74, and then I decided that uh, I thought I was good, but I wasn't that good. And I got into the DJ business, uh, purely by accident, so uh, the rest is history. Uh, Harold found out I was moving to the beach, so he gave me a call, and here I am. you put out a few songs out there you know, here along the way, haven't you? Yeah, you know, that, <laughs> we uh, growing up in a band, you always thought that uh, somebody like Dick Clark had to come in and discover who you, you were, you know, and or ABC Paramount or somebody like that. And um, Later on in life, I learned that uh, if you want to do a record, all you got to have is a little bit of money. So uh, I recorded my first record probably back in 1987 uh, with a friend of mine that I played in high school band. He had a studio in Lexington, South Carolina. So I went over there and recorded a song called Put It Where You Want It. My mother was real proud of that. <coughs> and um, so, <laughs> so uh, I you know, just did it for kicks because that was another one of my uh, bucket list, I think is what they call it these days was to record a song, and um, so I did it then. And um, then I did a couple of others, but you know, politics sometimes get in the way of success, and those records never made it. And then in 1989, I went to the Marshall Tucker studio and recorded Soothe Me. And uh, I told Dwayne Evans was the director and producer at the time, and I told him, I said, okay, Dwayne, I said, this is it. This is my last one. I'm out of money. So uh, we cut the song and, you know, it just took off. That's the, of the 33 songs, uh, let me see, hold on, of the uh, 33, that's about right, 33 songs that I've recorded, that's the only one I've ever got my money back on. And that's because Repeat Records uh, picked it up and put it on several of their projects. I've heard Soothe Me a few times and you know, Fat Harold's Beach Club. Well, I've been lucky with that. I, I, it went to uh, number two uh, that year. Uh, the Drifters beat me out with Move Across the River, which that's, uh, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad competition at all. That's a good song, too. Yeah. I've seen you get up on the stage a little bit with that harmonica of yours. <laughs> uh, that was another accident. <laughs> um, in my daytime job, I'm a travel salesman uh, up and down the road, and I've always had a hankering to learn, want to learn how to blow a harmonica, and so I, I didn't know anything. I just bought one and started blowing it. And... Uh, Ronnie Gettins, who was formerly with the uh, Catalinas, who is now deceased, I asked him because he w they had an act where he came out uh, pretending to be intoxicated and, and blew uh, the harp. And I asked him, uh, give me a few pointers, and he told me a few things. And then I said, well, why do you have so many harps? He says, well, because each harp is a different key, and you have to associate the key with the song, you know, that you're playing. So I practice it, and, and um my my idols were Snooky Pryor and Devil McClinton. So if you ever hear me blow the harp, it would be relative to those two guys. Awesome. Well, Gary, I appreciate uh, stopping by and spending a few minutes with me and tell me a little bit about you know the history there for for the people watching Shag City TV. Uh, and uh, when they see Gary in the bass, you know they'll maybe they'll learn a little bit more about him through the show. I appreciate you letting me say this, and uh, I'm going Fat Harold's right now. I'm gonna get me a bologna sandwich. I'll probably see you there in a little bit. Lord, we'll be back. You got Shack to City TV presented by Fat Harold's Beach Club. Lord, you got to help me now. Lord, you got to help me now. Lord, hey, this is for the web guy, Shack City TV, presented by Fat Harold's Beach Club. We're back with Hey Boy down from Hodos, DJ Hodos. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on down there. Yes, Hodos is Harold's on the Ocean, downtown Cherry Grove. It's a sister club to Fat Harold's Beach Club. Friday night, we're going to have six Stooges out there. I believe they play from 3 to 7. Saturday, we're going to have Treehouse, local reggae band from 2 to 6. Sunday, we've got a local favorite, Mark Roberts Band. 
You'll love Mark. He plays from one to five. Come on out and see us. He got a pretty voice and a pretty hair. Well, you got hair. That's all I can say. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, David. Uh, we'll see you down at Hodo's. Come on out and see us. Thank you. We'll be right back. Girls, you ain't going to believe this. I think I fell on my head last night. I got a dress. Take that dress, for example. $50. No, not at the clothes center. Cut it in half. And if you if you smile, we'll let you cut it in half again. That's 75% off. $50 dress for $12.50. You're not going to believe it. It's all by size. Come in, find your size. Go to the original price, cut it in half, and cut it in half. That means I pay you to take you back home. Hey, we're, ba we're back. Bo the Web Guy, Shag City TV, presented by Fat Harold's Beach Club. One of our favorite segments each week is Lunch with Lulu. You never know who's going to drop by and see uh, see Lulu for lunch. Uh, she's here every Wednesday to Saturday at Fat Harold's Beach Club cooking up specials and, of course, those cheeseburgers, bologna sandwiches, and everything else. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with Lunch with Lulu, and you'll see who I got to interview this week. All my neighbors come to call. Presented by Fat Harold's Beach Club. Here, Friday's lunch, lunch with Lulu. Met up with uh, a couple people here around the beach. Tommy Black, Cena Cooper, Tommy Black Band. What's going on, guys? You. You? <laughs> it ain't me. I'm just sitting here listening to you. I heard y'all making some plans. Yes. We are. <laughs> we are uh, October 6th. Uh, we're going to get married. Well, congratulations. Uh, I don't need to see that. Some of the other people out there might not have heard it yet, but they have are on Facebook. They're yeah, on Facebook, they know. Yeah, that's right. We're excited about it. I'm excited to get that thing, get her. <laughs> well, you should be. I heard she can cook almost as good as me. She almost will. I tried. Almost. I tried. I learned from the best, of course. Um, Mom, just, can't be the pork chops, though. Working on getting the website back up and going. TommyBlackBand.com. Yes, uh, it's been a struggle because I'm not very computer literate. So, uh, Christine's been doing a lot, and of course, Bo, you know what you're doing. Oh, appreciate so, uh, it. Thank you. Yeah, and, uh, another one, another shameless plug. I mean. yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Maybe give me a deal. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're getting it up, and we're trying to get our music on uh, Touch Tunes, iTunes, and uh, some of this other stuff that Mr. Keith used to talk about, and. Uh, Hope everything goes, because I, I want to get the music further and further on out so everybody can grab on to the beach music scene. Absolutely. So if y'all are going to get a top song, right? Or top song on Saturday. Top song on Saturday. So y'all play here all around the beach here. Uh, you see in different places. A lot of fun. Y'all expand it. You know, it used to be just you know, three people, and now y'all got uh, Travis playing. Yeah, I've got uh, Travis Creeps from uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. Creech and Sons RVs. And I think I remember that. <laughs> yeah, if you believe me, RV, motorhome Creech is the place to go. I see those RVs. But, uh, those yeah. do like pork chops. Drinking your trade oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to hire one more. I'm going to hire a sax player. I'm going to stay. Then I'm going to go five people on that set. And of course, the big band I had had a football team. And I'm just not interested in doing anything. They're really pretty uniforms. Yeah. Is <laughs> <laughs> that Carolina Blue? <laughs> Tommy Black and Crowd. <laughs> we had nine people on stage. Yep. Two roadies that makes a football team. Yep. Just left. So yep. we, that was enough. Yeah, but the first time I ever saw Christina get up there and sing with y'all, it was like y'all had all tackled her at one time. She yeah. got out there and burnt down Mustang Sally on crutches. She yep. did. She was in New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, 2009. No. Yeah, 2000, 2008. Eight. 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 Yeah. And you're the one that got her out of the whole football team. Yeah, that's it, that's it. I'm a coach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take the favor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> fantasy favor. <laughs> 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 but one was broke. 
Yeah. 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 Well, cool. Well, uh, if you find out where you're playing, just go to TommyBlackBand.com. Uh, look for new CD, new album. We got a new song. I've got a new song coming out I wrote called uh, Lucky Me, which will be out I'm finishing up Monday. Okay. Chris is going to record. Okay. Uh, I was asked to recently, Whitney Houston's I Always Love You. So cool. started off real slow at the beginning and then put a shag beat to it. The way it's danceable. Very excited. Yeah. In the excited. same key. In the same key. She too. sings, she can get on up there and hit the notes and does the, she does the song justice. Awesome. Very honorable man. Really Very good. Uh, well, good. appreciate you stopping by and uh, it's always good to see you. Good to see you here at Fat Harold's and Lunch with Lulu. Yes. Thank you. Uh, back. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate you having us over. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye, bud. Uh, we'll be right back. In like a hurricane. Hey, this is Bo the Web Guy, Shag City TV, presented by Fat Harold's Beach Club. Have you checked out SouthernSoul.com's beach music chart yet? Every week, people's choice. Beach music chart, SouthernSoul.com puts up the, the picks from the fans and the friends and everybody of beach music. They go in and put, you know, submit their charts every week. Southern Soul puts up a chart of what the people's choice say, you know, what, what, which ones are their favorites. Again, this week, Band of Oz. The Band of Oz fans keep coming out, and I can't think is number one once again. Be sure to check out southernsoul.com for the top beach music charts. Hey, earlier this week I got a chance to meet up with Howie Thompson, author of the Fat Heralds book. He's got a new project coming out. Stay tuned for the interview talking about that new project. Up next. Hey, this is Bo the Web Guy of Shag City TV presented by Fat Heralds Beach Club. Today we're sitting here in the studio at Zeus, for Zeus Media, uh, Shag City Studio in the conference room. I've got Howie Thompson author of uh, Fat Harold's book and several other books, and I uh, want to talk to him about a new book that's coming up, um, Howie, you know, I guess Fat Harold's book, pretty cool. Yeah, it was it was a bigger surprise than I thought it was going to be. Um, it did a lot better, uh, thanks to Paul, Cra Paul Craver. It's selling over in Belgium and Italy, and um, it's just it's just amazing. It just proves what ha what Harold is to everybody in, in the North Beach, Myrtle Beach area. A lot of cool stories, you know, about Harold and, you know, all the different people that had you know talked about it it's, it's pretty neat neat read I, I enjoyed it well um yeah everybody that's read it all the comments have been very positive so far most people say they can read it in three hours which is good which is kind of what you want as an author you want them to enjoy it and be able to read it and not put it down and that's the comments i've gotten so far cool and so we're getting ready to think about writing a new book here yeah i was talking to butch barnes the other uh couple about three or four weeks ago and he said, "God, he says, you know, it would be neat to do to, to do something about the the bands rather than just a person." So I kind of went with that and uh, started sending some information out to people and reading up on, you know, when beach music started and the bands and DJs. And what I've decided is to do a new book, and it's called "And the Bands Played on the History of Beach Music," and it's going to include 20 to 25 uh, bands and performers. Uh, 10 to 15 DJs, uh, all of the beach club owners, including Thurston, who owns Thirsty's up in um, Green, Greensboro, and several people like yourself and other people that, that I call friends of beach music who are um, kind of out there. Billy Scott, which is you know, which was a huge thing to be in the book. Uh, I heard. Uh, I think I've heard John Thompson and Little John are going to be involved in, in part of the book. Yeah, uh, I talked to both of them and, and they both have agreed to, to be in the book uh, with Little John kind of being the future of beach music and where it's going to go and uh, Big John and they, they agreed to do something together, you know, uh, as an interview. So um, that'll be interesting. Cool. So uh, I guess... Last, the last book did a lot of the interviews and stuff during the camis. I guess we got you know interviews coming up. You know maybe what's the uh, the process? I mean I guess you know, how do you go into some of that? Well, the process uh, starts with sending out emails and a questionnaire, and okay. that's and that's uh, that I've already done to everybody that said they wanted to be in the book. Now I'm getting bits and pieces of people that I didn't include, and they want to be included, and I'll, I will do that. But once I get the questions back, then I have a good idea of what their knowledge is and how, what they are to beach music and, and along that lines. Um, then I'll set up interviews like I did um, probably the camis. I'll, I'll get quite a few again. Peter's already said that, Peter Carpenter has already said that um, I can come in and 
do the interviews like I did before. Um, we did a lot of interviews at Harold's. Um, that was like my office, that first little booth on the, on the right. Um, but, uh, and that works out real well. And that's, uh, the, interviews take, the interviews take about 15 to 20 minutes. Some take an hour. Like with Jim Quick, we sat there for two, we sat there for two hours and we became friends. I didn't know Jim before that. So mm -hmm. that was, it was a great interview. Uh, there's a lot of books out there that have been about beach music and pictures and you know, all kinds of different things. So what's different about this book compared to you know, other books out there that might be, have written, have been written or produced already? You know, I did some pretty good research on this book and um, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of books and there's a lot of things that are called in the bands played on. <clears throat> some of it's about the Titanic, some of it's about other stuff. But this book in particular is going to be from the mouths of the people that were there. It's not going to be a bunch of articles and um, things. It will have some really good pictures because everybody's sending me some decent pictures that they want in the book. The, uh, the publisher is going to be Ex Libris, which is the one that did Harold's, and they're very interested in this, just like they were his. Uh, they've identified already <clears throat> about 150 to 200,000 people that are into the beach music market, and so that's a pretty good-sized market. Um, but it'll be different from the standpoint that this will be from the people that actually went through starting in the 50s and grew through, you know, like Big John Thompson and, you know, um, Jim Quick and uh, Butch Barnes and Craig Woolard and uh, the Fantastic Shakers, you know, the Catalinas, all of those people kind of grew up with this beach music and were, were kids, basically. I think Craig and Butch and Big John were in the Embers to begin with, and they were young, very young. There's some. There's some interesting young pictures out there about them, um, but <clears throat> it's going to be different from that standpoint where it's going to barely be interviews with all these people who were there and who have, who have changed the, the, the face of beach music over the years. Uh, I think you told me earlier that uh, you're going to be interviewing Daddy Bo, Bo Schrantz. I'm sure he's got some stories and he's got a lot of history with, with he what he's done. Yeah, he jumped at the idea. He was going to be in Harold's book and then he kind of backed off. He was busy. <clears throat> but uh, he is, he jumped at the idea. I met him over at uh, the Galleon and, and he said absolutely. He, he wants to be in it and uh, he's, yeah, he's, I mean, he's a legend. I mean, all of these guys are legends, you know, um, well beyond my years in involvement for sure. And, um, but it's going to be, it's going to be an interesting time to put this all together. So the um, beach music, I mean, have you suddenly been in, ingrained in becoming a, a beach music fan, or what's the? Uh, I, I know think you, in, you know, growing up, growing up in Connecticut, beach music to us was the Beach Boys. Right. I mean, we didn't know anything else but the Beach Boys. Then all of a sudden, this song came out of, from down here called Double Shot, and that hit the charts up in in New York and stuff. And until I moved down here, I never knew that the band was from down here, the Swinging Medallions. And we just thought they were a bunch of kids that got together, and that's what it sounds like on the on the song. But that was a huge hit, and uh, and that kind of set the tone for everybody, you know, to to understand that there's a different kind of beach music out there. And you know, this was something new. Um, when I came down, when I moved down here, when I moved down to North Carolina first, and then South Carolina, I found out that beach music means a whole different thing than what I thought it did when I grew up as a child. So. Yeah, this is this is an interesting thing. Beach music. I I've seen the change in some of the things that I saw that um, the Embers and Craig Woolard and a bunch of people like that did early on to what they're doing now, to what some of the bands are doing now, like Hip Pocket and Jim Jim Quick and stuff like that. They get it. It's a different style of beach music, and it looks like it's kind of morphing into something else even in the future. So uh, the um, yeah, we were talking about beach music. I know. I started out in Raleigh, you know, got involved with Jim and Coastline Band, Band of Oz, and started doing websites and stuff for those guys, and got involved with marketing, and then I moved to Atlanta for six years, and, you know, you said the word speech music, and they're like, what? I mean, you know, just, it's so hard to explain and define what beach music is, especially outside of the Carolinas. Some places, a lot of places in the Carolinas don't even, you know, understand what you're talking about when you say beach music, but um, I got involved with Coastline Band, like I said, you know, Band of Oz, with just, I mean, it's one of the biggest bands out there, and I love hanging out with those guys, and of course, Jim, for the last 12, 13, 14 years, something like that, but um, it's, it's quite an undertaking to kind of get involved in the beach music industry altogether, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, 
I, I didn't even know what the candies were. You know, um, I had no idea where Fat Harold. Well, I lived here for six years, and I knew nothing about Fat Harold's or beach music or shagging or any of that kind of stuff because I was coaching. I was a soccer coach, and I was away every weekend. So my weekend was either in Columbia or Green Greenville or Charleston or Atlanta or something like that, playing working in the tournament. But um, you know, it, it's a it's a real interesting way of life. It's a you know. I think the whole beach music, and a lot of people like to put beach music and shagging together, and it's really not. Shagging is, is a way of life, and I think beach music complements that way of life. But it's 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 its, its own entity, and it, it changes. It's been changing over the years, and I think it's going to continue to change. Um, but it'll still be beach music. Right. You know, it's like rock and roll. You know, I mean. You, I don't know if you've seen the movie Rock of Ages, but that's that's an unbelievable tribute to to rock and roll, you know, that that I grew up with, and you know, like Journey and and stuff like that. So, you know, it doesn't it, it changes, but yet, you know, it's still it's still it's still going to be beach music, is because all of these guys have grown up with. Now, as they age out or you know pass away or something like that, yeah, you know, the younger guys coming up, I think, have a different idea of of what I mean you. You look at somebody like Tim Clark's son. I don't know his first name, but I've watched, I've seen him play guitar. And he's a, he's amazing. Yes, <laughs> he's absolutely amazing. Craig Woolard's son. He was on the cruise with us, and that kid's got an incredible voice. But he's a rock and roll singer. I right. mean, you know, he's probably going to go a different way. But um, but they've all grown up in the in the beach music world, and. Um, and even Craig, you know, Craig and Jimmy, I mean, they can rock it, you know, when, when they want to. Um, but, their, but their livelihood is beach music. Right. Uh, Billy Scott, I heard you talk that Billy, Billy Scott's going to be involved in this project. I got a call one day, um, and he said, he said, hi, this is Billy Scott. And I'm like, wow. And I, because I knew who that was. And, uh, you know, he told me, he said he was instrumental in getting the cami started and, you know, kind of turned it over, I guess, to Peter after that. And, um, you know, but he said, I absolutely want to be in the book. I said, well, I absolutely want you. You know, right. absolutely, you know. I said, um, and I got to meet him, and um, he's, a, he's an amazing guy. He's, he's a great entertainer. I saw him at the, at the Horseshoe, was a couple, last week or the right. week before. Um, great entertainer. I mean, you know. He's, um, he's still going strong. Yeah, yeah, you know, and I don't know his age, and it's hard to tell because he looks, he's, he looks like he's in great shape, but... You know, it's, it, a lot of these guys that are that are entertainers, um, it's amazing how they keep their their age and they keep their you know they, they keep their their stamina in terms of what they do. Uh, I went to see the Rolling Stones like three years ago at Duke University, and Mick ran the whole night up and down the stage, and it's just you know, and Keith just can still play guitar with him right. better than anybody. Um, so what are some of the uh, other guys? Is chairman of the board, they're going to be involved? Chairman of the board, uh, the Catalinas, the Castaways, both the present and some of the other. We've got Linda, Linda Slaughter, which is Wimp's wife. Um, she was the, the, you know, she used right. to be the lead singer. She's going to be in the book. Um, we've got uh, this group called Somebody in the Hysterics. Hmm. Um, I don't know their whole name, but they apparently have a lot of history uh, in, in the Carolinas. Um, and, you know, it just kind of goes on and on with, with groups and, like, the Band of Oz. Um, yeah, I was talking to Keith yesterday. I mean, he's, yeah. you know, he said that, uh, he said, well, you can't really have a beach music uh, book without Band of Oz. So I, yeah. I personally agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you look, at, you look at who was in the Band of Oz, you know, at one time. And, and you know, it's just, you know, bands change. I mean, I, I was in a band when I, was, when I was in college. I was a lead singer. And... We had to change our name like every two weeks because we were so bad. I mean, we were, we were a garage band without a garage. We played on this kid's porch, you know, right. and we were terrible. But we would be one name one week and then another name two weeks later because we wanted to go back and play. And if they didn't know who we were, they'd hire us and bring us back. But, right. you know, bands change, but I think the talent always rises to the top. You know, the, the guys who are really talented singers like Gary Louder and... You know, I mean, the Carolina Breakers, you, you listen to them, and it's, it's just really cool what they do. Awesome. Um, we'll be right back in just a minute. 
Hey, this is Bo the Web Guy, Shag City TV, presented by Fat Harold's Beach Club. I know a lot of you are getting ready to make your plans to come to SOS here at North Myrtle Beach coming up in September. If you haven't got a place to stay yet, go ahead and check out Ocean Drive Beach and Golf Resort. Place fills up fast for SOS. Anytime you're getting ready to come in and stay in North Myrtle Beach to hit Main Street, make sure you check out Ocean Drive Beach and Golf Resort. Use the code Shag City for a 10% discount. Hey, it's Bo the Web Guy. We're back, Shack City TV, interviewing with Howie Thompson, the uh, author of uh, Legend of Shag. Um, Fat King, Harold, well, yeah. Legendary King of Shag. Legendary King of Shag, Fat Harold. He's got a new book coming up, uh, and the band's played on, The History of Beach Music. Uh, we've got quite of a, I guess, tight schedule coming up here, you know, getting, getting everything tied in and interviews and... Um, just real quick, let's just kind of go over the concept of what you know, what, what time we're going to try to get this book out and, and that kind of thing. I'd like to get it, well, we, we need to get it out for uh, April of 2013 for uh, Spring SOS. Right. Uh, at least a week before, if not two, would be good. Um, but that's critical because 12,000 people come down here at that time. And right. That would be good for the book. Um, so backing that up, you know, I've got to get my interviews done by you know September or October, um, we have to commit to the um, to the publisher with um, you know what we're going to do in terms of do it just like Harold's book. We're gonna we're gonna it's gonna be published um, just exactly the way Harold's book was published with the same kind of marketing, the same kind of um, things that they they give you in terms of books and what they give you on, as a deal on the book and that kind of thing. Um, so that's done in October. By December, it's got to be in their hands by December 15th, and then they send back corrections to me. I correct it, so by February, um, it's all done, and then they have it for a month to get out and get it to by between the end of March and April 15th. Okay, so I think we, we're, we're we're talking about giving uh, some of the clubs and bands and you know some of the actual beach music fans kind of a way to kind of get involved in the in the promotion of the book and you know that's kind of what we're talking about a little bit uh, right now is just you know um, so be you know I guess if you want to put uh, like yearbook type stuff you know just uh, you know, how long you've been involved in the beach music industry or just kind of I think we're gonna add some photos and stuff to the back and I think that'd be kind of a neat way to for the for everybody that's been involved in beach music to kind of get their little piece you right. know, part of the book. And I think, you know, everybody's got to understand, like Harold's book, uh, a certain percentage of the net uh, profits is going to go to Camp Chemo. And so everybody that contributes to, you know, getting the book um, and published and having their, their piece in the book uh, will, will have the availability that, that's going to go in their name as well right. as a contributor. Well, that's fun. I mean, you know, Camp Chemo, I mean, what better, you know, charity to, to yeah. donate to than Camp Chemo? I know it's... It's definitely always been, you know, Fat Harold's, you know, Harold Besson's, you know, um, main charity. You know, millions of dollars have been donated, you know, through what Fat Harold's done. Yeah, you know, he's, he's raised over $2 million uh, for that, and we did very well. Um, I didn't get the final number, but it was something like $70-something thousand dollars that, that they sent to, to uh, Camp Chemo this year. And, um, you know, he, that, that whole... That whole process is just amazing. I mean, you know, I learned I learned about that very early on when I was doing the book and uh, got to meet Jeannie, who's in charge of the, of the camp, and uh, just a wonderful person. And you know, uh, it's a great cause. You know, and it's almost it's almost on the lines of Make a Wish, you know, type right. thing with with the that the NFL, the NBA, Major League Baseball does. Um, but they just the money just goes directly to them. And I've got a lot of fans that have actually been there to see you know, witness you know the kid. But I've seen the pictures and seen some of the videos, yeah. and it's just amazing seeing you know what you know what it does and what kind of uh, image it leaves, impression it leaves on those kids. I know just seeing Harold smile, yeah. <laughs> you know it's it's awesome just to see you know him have have the time with the kids. So uh, well, cool. Is there anything else we want to you know, talk about as far as the book goes? And uh, just like Harold's book, uh, like I told. Uh, Cecil in an interview one time is going to be like the sands on the beach it'll be everywhere you know um, and there's a lot of people a lot of the, all the beach club owners are getting behind it and they're going to promote it and um, we want everybody to to try to contribute to this book because um, we can put their names in the book and we can make sure that everybody gets their their recognition awesome well uh, thanks a lot Howie and I uh, look forward to working with you in the next few months and getting this book out there Thank you. All right, thanks, Alan.
Hey, I'm back. Bo the Web Guy, Shag City TV, presented by Fat Harold's Beach Club. All right, Bo the Web Guy. What does that mean? I'm a web guy. I'm on the internet all the time. There's a lot of cool tools out there if you're looking to find out what's going on in the beach music world. I've got to promote beachmusiconline.com. Good upcoming events. So major events are listed at beachmusiconline.com. Plus, you'll also see links to all the events at some of the other websites, Shag City TV and Southern Soul. Fatheralds.com, tell you everything that's going on at Fatheralds.com, Fat Heralds, Beach Club, and Heralds on the Ocean. So be sure to check out Fatheralds.com for the weekly schedule, tell you who, who the DJs are, who the bands that are coming up. And also, Beach, with Beach Music Online, we're promoting the Carolina Beach Music Awards, so make sure you sign up for the CBMA. The deadline's coming to be able to nominate who your favorite artists are, who your favorite songs are, but what you think should get uh, nominated you know, for the best of the best in the beach music. Be sure to check it out. Beachmusiconline.com for your schedule and everything's coming up. We'll be right back. Speaking of websites, do you like to listen to beach music? There's a website that plays more beach music than anyone in the universe. ShagCityUSA.com, the home of Southern Soul Radio and the best Carolina beach music. We really do play more music than anyone in the universe. Check out ShagCityUSA.com, the home of Southern Soul. Ocean Drive Beach and Golf Resort is the perfect host for your next beach getaway. Located directly on the oceanfront in the heart of North Myrtle Beach, our oceanfront rooms and suites come fully equipped and feature private balconies with breathtaking ocean views. Ocean Drive Beach and Golf Resort features unparalleled on-site amenities, including the OD Beach Club and world-famous Spanish Galleon Nightclub. Call Ocean Drive Beach and Golf Resort now at 1-800-438-9590. We'll see you in North Myrtle Beach. Lord, you got to help me now. Lord, you got to help me now. Lord, hey, this is the Web Guy, Shack City TV, presented by Fat Harold's Beach Club. This is wrapped up in another week here at Fat Harold's. We appreciate you letting us be part of your life for the next this last 20, 30 minutes. If you're watching this on FatHarold's.com, you can also check out ShagCityTV.com. You can also check out BeachMusicOnline.com or ZeusTV.com. All those sites are tying in, presenting this show to you each and every week. We appreciate Fat Heralds for letting us come in and do this, do this show every week. Uh, be sure to check us out and tell your friends. we got a lot going on at ShagCityTV.com. ShagCityTV, presented by Fat Heralds Beach Club. I'm Bo the Web Guy. We'll see you next week. <laughs>